Aresis was invented and built in 1994 in London University by Jerry Pollock, the co-inventor of the first pacemaker, and Donald Gilbert, a renowned cellular biochemist. It was originally intended for the treatment of multiple sclerosis and muscle atrophy. It gained popularity in the field of cosmetics as a result of its high-speed muscle building, inch loss, visceral fat reduction, and its dramatic effects in tightening abdominal muscles after pregnancy. Aris' science uses advanced men's technology to resonate the biological signal that the brain sends to the nerve in control of the muscle. Aris' signal is built with up to 1,000 waveforms composed on the basis of 17 years of empirical and clinical research by the co-inventor of the first pacemaker. Aris' signal targets the nerve and control of the muscle, and not the muscle as do muscle stimulators. Aris' resonance of the neuron signal results in a full muscle contraction that has the rhythm and potency of strenuous exercise without the effort. Aris' effortless workout gets you straight to the fat burning stage without the gym burnout. The Aris' procedure utilizes fat as an energy source. It bypasses aerobic, requiring oxygen glucose, burning as well as the anaerobic, without oxygen, energy supply source that converts peruvic acid molecules to lactic acid. Preparation 1. Plug the Aresis cables all the way into the ports. 2. Turn the key to the on position from left to right. 3. Adjust the timer to 17 minutes as desired. 4. If any of the lights next to the dials is on, turn that dial to zero. You must turn all dials to zero prior to pressing the start button. If all dials are not turned to zero, the machine will not go on. This is a safety mechanism. 5. Press the green start button. The light on the far right corner will change from red to green. 6. Adjust the frequency to 200, 400, 600, or 1000 as desired. 7. 200 is a slower frequency that goes deeper to target the nerves in charge of the tougher muscles. It may be more suitable for bodybuilders or overweight individuals. Inch loss, body sculpting, and body lift can be achieved with this frequency. This frequency offers a very deep lymphatic drainage. 400 is a relatively faster frequency that may be more suitable for inch loss for the average individual. This frequency is very efficient for lymphatic drainage. 600 is an even faster frequency that may be more suitable for body toning or for skin tightening after liposuction. This frequency has been clinically shown to reduce the appearance of cellulite. 1000 is a very fast superficial frequency that will tone and rejuvenate the skin, giving it a fresh, polished look. Eight, adjust the pulse as desired. The range between one to four is a progressively faster pulse that may be suitable more specifically for inch loss and skin tightening. The range between six to 10 is progressively slower and may be suitable more specifically for bodybuilding. 4 to 6 falls within the average range and can be used for inch loss, skin tightening, and bodybuilding. 9. For your convenience, we have supplied you with two types of belts. A. A large rubber belt and B. A thin rubber belt. This second type can be neatly adjusted by a button and stretched to the desired length. 10. Submerge the sponge pads in water, and then squeeze out all the excess water. 11. Insert the metal plates in the sponge pads. Abdomen and waist padding. Lay the large rubber belts on the bed. Tie one rubber belt below the belly button, and another rubber belt above the belly button. 
With larger individuals, it may be necessary to use more than two belts in order to keep the pads in place. Position the pads on the client's body. Two pairs of pads on the abdomen and one pair of pads on either side of the waist. With larger individuals, you may need to double the pairs of pads used on the abdomen. The larger the body area covered with pads, the better the results. Clip on the cables to the metal plates. Clinical experience and practice has indicated that contraction is generally better when positive, red, is placed on the bottom and black, negative, is placed on top. The clip must be on the metal plate, not on the sponge pad. The metal plate should be securely inserted into the sponge pad and it should never be in contact with the client's skin. Slowly turn the dials up until you observe a contraction. Adjust the pads to maximize contraction. Continue observing and readjusting the pads throughout the treatment. Back and waist. Use two or more rubber belts depending on the size of the individual receiving the treatment. You will need two or four pairs of pads on the back, again depending on the individual client. Use one pair of pads on either side of the waist. Connect all the pads placed on the bottom with the positive or red cables and all the pads placed on the top with the negative cables. Slightly rearrange the pads to the left or the right to obtain maximum contraction. For better results, combine abdomen, waist, and back padding during the same treatment. Buttocks lift. You will need a rubber belt around each leg and two to three rubber belts around the buttocks. Use as many belts as necessary to secure pads in place. Use four or more pairs of pads to cover the entire buttocks area, depending on the size of the individual client. You may want to bring the pads closer or further away from each other to maximize contraction. Back leg padding. Use two pairs of pads on each leg. One pair on inner outer leg, second pair on the back of the leg. Negative is always on the inner part of the leg and positive is always on the outer. Negative is always on top and positive always on the bottom. Front leg padding. Use two pairs of pads on each leg. One pair on inner outer leg, second pair on the back of the leg. Negative is always on the inner part of the leg and positive is always on the outer. Negative is always on top and positive always on the bottom. Hip padding. First, identify the hip muscle. Use two pairs of pads, one on each hip. Connect the positive cable with the bottom pad and the negative cable with the top pad. Breast lift padding. Use two pairs of pads, one pair for each breast. Place the pads on either side of the pectoral muscle. Connect the inside pad with the negative cable and the outside pad with the positive cable. Arm padding. Use two pairs of pads, one for each arm. Efficient results have been produced with the placing of pads on either side of the biceps on each arm. Alternatively, by placing one pad on the bicep and one pad on the tricep. The negative cable is connected to the inside pad on the tricep and the positive is connected to the outside pad or the pad on the bicep. Pad placements are only examples out of hundreds of combinations of different placements. The rule of thumb is, the cleaner the contraction, the better the results. Whatever padding gives you the best contraction with a certain individual, this is the type of contraction you should use with that particular individual for maximum treatment effectiveness and best results. Also remember the following. One. 
If the client complains of a burning sensation, check if the metal part of the pad is touching the client's skin. Two, body asymmetry is quite common. One side of the body may require higher voltage than the other. Three, if the client experiences discomfort, first, readjust the pads until the client gets a cleaner contraction. Four, always ask your clients to drink three glasses of water prior to treatment and at least 10 glasses of water after treatment. Five, recommend that the client takes kelp to help in increasing metabolic rate. Other vitamins and minerals may be important in certain cases, such as chromium, zinc, coenzyme Q10, and others. Thank you for your kind attention to this training. For any questions or concerns, please call our 24-hour hotline, 1-866-25-YOUNG.